Welcome back to Express here on SABC3, your feel-good breakfast show, definitely and indeed. Now, what are you doing on the 2nd of January? I hope that you are going to the biggest and most fabulous event on the Cape Town calendar, 2nd of February, rather, that is The Met. Now, every year, the rich, the famous and the fashionable network at Elegant Marquis, and we take a look at what they've been wearing over the last five years because the themes have been outstanding. Definitely. Let's so wait, you and I are part of the rich, fabulous and fashionable and elegant. I don't, I don't know if I'm part of it, but I like to rub shoulders with them. We are so Definitely. part of it, my friend. We are so part of it. <laughs> right there. Well, starting off with 2007, the theme was black, white and bling. Ladies wore subtle bling, deconstructed garments and 60s bubble skirts. White detailed and white collared shirts were fashion forward in menswear and definitely a very hot and on trend look for that year as well. Nice hey. one. In 2008, we saw Connect Kitchen. The theme was also about connecting plums, plums patterns and metallics. I definitely love yep. that. Hey? Also, and in 2009, it was glitz and glam. The focus was on the age-old party icon, the mirror ball, mm -hmm. which is also synonymous with the Met's global starter party campaign. I love that theme. It was so awesome. Now, moving over to 2010, the theme was in full color. Love now, from theme. stunning designer outfits to hand-woven quilted jackets, this certainly was a very colorful event. I remember it. It stands out in my mind. Everybody was big, bold, and really loud with their colors. Nice one. One of my favorite themes in 2011 has to be the larger-than-life theme. With the salute to the spontaneous, a tip of the hat to the unconventional, and a bow to the bold, a high five to the unexpected, 2011 was massive outfits, oversized accessories, and gigantic personalities to match. Oh, I loved it. Spells and then, us all over the place. I know, hey? <laughs> and then last year, the theme was Made Different. Now, the theme was inspired by the unique heritage of the Met's whiskey brand, a whiskey mm. that was made like no other, that was really made different. Conventions of what one would normally wear to the Met was definitely challenged, and the theme called on supporters to break the rules and challenge the traditional, and they certainly did. I remember oh, last year that I actually wore a leopard print top yeah. with feathers. So you took the bird and the whole, you know, the whole yeah. animal thing and brought them together. Made it different. Very, very, very cool. Central to the afternoon's entertainment, is the popular most elegant couple competition. Sophisticated couples are invited to a prejudging competition by fashion spotters from the department from the fashion department of Cape, Ten Cape Peninsula University of Technology. Entrants are put through their pace and whittled down to 16 finalists. The judging panel has included TV personality Michael Mole, surfing sensation Roxy Lowe, and hottie swimmer Rake Neatley. Yeah. The prizes can be anything from travel vouchers, beauty hampers, to shopping vouchers and safaris. Very, very big competition that is. Now this year is the 35th year of the Met and an estimated domestic attendance, just Cape Town alone, of 50,000 people. What? is expected but I know that Joburg is going to be coming down <laughs> in their numbers of course and with a the theme of made to fly not even the sky is going to be the limit so you need to go all out yeah man anyway moving on to some cool stuff Cavendish Square invites the top local media personalities and bloggers to participate in the made to fly fashion challenge to create their ultimate mate made to fly ensemble using fashion from 10 Cavendish fashion square stores now I was also there I also created a little ensemble, so I hope you guys are going to like it. And if you do, you need to go and vote. Go to www.cavendish.co.za to pick your favorite, favorite model and, of course, your favorite designer. Let us know what you think. But do you think we should go and check it out? I think we should. You sure should style me, though. I would love to. Like cross styling fit. Oh, girl, you and me, we're, we're going right to plan. the top. Let's go and check <laughs> it out. South Africa has met fever. And the event's official shopping center partner is providing fashionistas with plenty of inspiration. Expresso joined Jen Su on a shopping spree in Cape Town. Well, here I am in Attitude to pick out a special outfit for the Met Fashion Challenge with Cavendish. It's going to be really exciting. And uh, there's so many hats and dresses to choose from. The official launch party of the Met was hosted at Cavendish Square. Local celebrities picked out fashion from the fabulous stores and created their vision of what made to fly should look like on a model. We're getting ready for the Jamie B. Metz competition. My inspiration was very much pop culture. So that's why we have Barbie over here. Um, so I just wanted something that was fun, something that like reminds you of your youth. I personally had a week to sew this and this is what I have. I took inspiration from a number of designers, um, Siobhan Shi, um, Alexander McQueen and then also old school Hollywood. Tonight we are hosting the Chain B Gourmet Gallop, 
We are thrilled to be partnering with the JB Met. It's the fourth time that we've been chosen as the shop, preferred shopping centre. Cavendish is unique and amazing because we have beautiful, unique stores. We have a variety of international and local fashion. And it, there is just such a nice atmosphere and vibe within Cavendish for shoppers to enjoy. While we admire the result, remember, you stand a chance of winning VIP tickets to the Met, plus an overnight stay at the Aquila Private Game Reserve. To enter, vote for your favorite Met celebrity outfit on cavendish.co.za. Back to the show. I decided to go with things that move in the wind that looks like they were made to fly. Made to fly said to me, things that have the potential to fly. Not exactly the Kanye West type of, I want it to finish, but like the real sort of, like a pilot. So it's definitely going to be edgy, original, innovative, and very sexy. I love greens, I love bright colors, and I love a little bit of a wild and adventurous side, and I think that that's what my model has. And I thought I'll take Made to Fly and turn it into something that's not necessarily physically flying, but something that, you know, aspirational people who actually do really well in whatever work they're doing. You're going to see a lot of feather boas. My sort of scoop on that, I can guarantee you, you're going to see a lot of feathers this year. In the JMB Met is a very popular event on the Cape Town calendar. We thought it was a perfect opportunity to put our popular brand with the event as well. And of course, when you bring Cavendish into the whole mix, you get a fantastic synergy. And I think it most certainly manifests itself when you hear the vibe inside there tonight. Very excited. From Ocean Basket to Cocaccio and Dry Bakery, the festivities continued as guests were treated to decadent delights. Young new talent from Fadisa competed for an automatic entry into the most elegant couple competition. The students' outfits were judged by the participating celebrities and they wowed the crowd. The countdown has begun. Were you made to fly? Remember, cast your vote.